Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Brigade. I'm your host, Brian, and on this show we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. Today we're actually doing a box opening, and I like to consider the box openings a good opportunity to do channel updates or have a conversation with people. Um, as we're opening the box, it gives us a little bit of time to talk. So we just received Pendulum, so we're going to be taking a look at this and, and opening her up. Um, I will be doing a review on this copy of the game uh, shortly. We have another review that we're, we have two reviews actually we're currently working on right now. Um, so I apologize that the last week we haven't had a lot of content that we were able to post. We did have the School of Sorcery. If you haven't seen it, we will post it up here. Um, but otherwise, we actually spent a lot of the week catching up on a backlog of board gaming. I had a friend visit from California, so we spent some time really trying to game get, get through as much content as we possibly could for, for gaming so I can uh, then get through some of these reviews I've wanted to do. Uh, so I'm excited for what's happening. We'll be getting back on track here with some more Kickstarter should you backs uh, shortly. Um, again, the whole the whole week was a little rough. It was also my daughter's first birthday. So it was uh, not a time for work in terms of YouTube, but we're back on track now. So Pendle, we received this from uh, Jamie Stegmaier. I'm excited to be able to review this copy and, and be a part of the, the network of, of people who are who have been chosen to, to receive copies of this game. So thank you for that. And uh, I figured why not have a good opportunity to open this up. So we'll take a look at this. So Pendulum is a one to five player game in about 90 minutes, ages 12 and up. So we're just gonna cut that guy right open. We still have the giveaway going on right now, so if you are here for the giveaway, this video will be eligible for an additional entry, so make sure you stay tuned till the uh, word is given in terms of what we want to do. So here's Pendulum. First off, right off the bat, I really like the art. Uh, I've been told through other reviewers that the theme of this game and the art don't necessarily play into how the game plays. We'll take a look at that, you know, later when I actually do my actual review. But like aesthetics, like I really, whoa, almost lost her there. I really, really like the way this this box art looks. The art's really cool. So let's take a look. All right. So with all their games, they have this very nice like linen finish. It's kind of got that texture feel to it on all their uh, instruction manuals. So. This looks like a, a how to play. I'm glad that the rule book is a little bit deeper than um, than the last game I played. Tapestry's rule book was two pages long, and uh, two pages like so four pages, but like two front and back. And I really felt like it, it was it was like too short. But they were trying to be like, hey, we just made a board game with only two pages of rules, so that's cool. I'm like, yeah, it was cool, but. I felt like it was kind of rushed and it could have been a little bit more easily explained or outlined a little better, but that's just my opinion. So we have the Automa system. With uh, almost every, I feel like every Stegmaier game I have, um, the Stegmaier games, they have the uh, Automa factory set up. I've actually never played the solo games for this. So I would be curious to try one of these out. I'm, I, I'm trying to become more of a solo gamer. I'm just not a solo gamer. I play board games for the um, social aspect of the game. It, I, I really enjoy getting around the table with friends and playing a board game. That's why I play board games. So I, I still would like to experience some of the solo content. I just have never done that personally yet. I have solo games. I actually bought like Final Girl, that's 100% a solo game, and I plan to have it be uh, content for the channel where we play together. So I am going to force myself to have to learn how to play solo games. So here we have the setup. I'm glad that there's, I actually really appreciate when they do these um, separate setup sheets to kind of, so you don't have to dig through the rule book. What's the setup sheet? What's the setup again for four players? You know, something like that. I really appreciate it. So all through the books. So we just hit 2,700 subscribers. I'm very, very happy about that. The giveaway, remember, was at 3,000 subscribers. 
I said it originally, we were 2,500 subscribers when we started the, um, the contest, the giveaway. So we're about halfway there in terms of subscriber count. Um, I'm hoping that we can get there before the pledge manager closes, which is at the end of August. Um, based on my current projections, I don't necessarily see that happening, um, but the company has assured me that we, we would be fine if that happens or not. So, you know, I was really hoping we'd get the pledge manager completed though before then. So here we have some punchable cards. So we have a timer track, looks like some some token, it looks like a 10 with a person taking their hand out, and then a call council. Not quite sure what that is, but it looks like then we go straight to the board. So let's, uh, let's slide this over here for a second while we take a look at the board. So is this, is this it? Hmm. For some reason, this looks like it's it, but the, the way this board is laid out, I'm gonna kind of arrange it here so you can see upstairs a little better. I feel like the board is pretty. I like the color, the different colors here, but it feels like it's, it's lacking, it's missing something. Just overall, my initial impression was like, was there more, was I, was I missing something? It just feels kind of short. But I mean, it's got a great feel to the texture. Again, the aesthetic, the aesthetics in all Stegmaier games are always primo. <clears throat> they really know how to, to light it up. So it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling board, very solid. Okay, so then let's bring this back on in. So this looks like these are probably the player boards with the characters, um, Gamble and the Briber is what it says on there. And choose one. The icon offering, the icon offering, I can't say that word right now. Don't make fun of me, I can't say every word in the English language. It's something I um, always have struggled with. Um, but the icons that Stegmaier uses are usually very good and easy to pick up. There's that same logo that we saw with the uh, the punch. So I figured well, let's let's do the let's do the word. I'm actually going to give you the word of the day for this episode. It's going to be in relation to my next review, um, a little teaser. Uh, so let's say let's make it hope. The word for the entry for the bonus entry. This will be the fourth. Uh, possible entry you can have for the the Oath Sworn giveaway uh, will be hope. So make sure you leave a comment down below, like the video, and make sure you are publicly subscribed to the channel. Uh, I make sure I comment on everyone that that appears not to be publicly subscribed because I would hate to have someone you know miss out on the uh, a chance for the giveaway by something so stupid like that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You comment down below hope, and then like the channel for the YouTube algorithm. So we got some uh, tokens here. Let's take a look and see what they feel like. They've, they look very slippery. Oh no, they're actually very tactile. Like they're actually have a lot of friction to them. They're not as slippery as I thought they would be. Um, but they're little purple squares. So there's that. As you can see here, it's got a, uh, I'm gonna look up for a second. It's got a great little um, organizer in here. Let's take all this stuff out, all these extra cubes. Always coming in clutch with the extra baggies. I actually have a whole box dedicated to baggage storage, and uh, I always appreciate when I buy a new game and they have really new high quality bags. So, we got a lot of tokens. I kind of wanted to get all this out of here. Oh, what is that? Probably a first player token or something. Okay, so now we can get a better view of what the um, insert looks like. We have our three. Um, Hourglasses. This is a real-time game. We got some cards. These are some of the Automa cards. Tiles and some mini, mini US cards. And then some more meeples. Great. Well, that is that is the unboxing of Pendulum. If anyone was interested in how this looks, I will uh, kind of reorganize this in a little better form and get these, you know, all bagged in their own little baggies. Um, I, I figured that this was going to be a smaller episode, a shorter episode. It's not like a Kickstarter. It's not like I'm getting, a, you know, a big game with a lot of minis, which is usually more exciting to open. But it gives me an opportunity to talk, um, 
talk about how the giveaway is doing. Um, thank everyone that's been subscribing to the channel. We, we grew 200 subscribers in the last two weeks, so that's really good. I'm really, really happy with all the comments. In fact, uh, I, I tell my, <laughs> I, I was joking with my wife uh, how much I appreciate people's comments in the videos um, when they are using the word for the giveaway in a sentence. Um, I didn't expect that to happen and people just kind of naturally started doing that. And it really makes me uh, happy when I see people coming up with unique ways to make a comment and include the, the word of the day. So anyways, this was uh, the pendulum. If you are new to the show, we do these box openings every once in a while. Uh, we do the reviews, previews, and playthroughs as well. Uh, so stay tuned for more. If you want to really help support the channel, make sure you leave a like up top for the YouTube algorithm. This is Brian with Game Brigade, and I will talk to you very soon.